We tell children, use your words. We tell them when they don't have a clue what the word, word actually means. We keep telling them and using words to them that they don't understand. But it's in the using of them, ours and theirs, that they finally get it. And we keep moving on to other words. Sacrament is still a strange word to me. The meaning of lots of words is very evident and self-evident to all of us. Font, cup, Bible, objects, actions we take, walk, talk. We know what they are. They're, they're labels for something we can see. But other times, words point to something else we can't see. And sometimes those words are mystery words, like human. Look it up in a dictionary, and there are lots of circular words that go around, but it's just really hard to define. St. Augustine said that baptism and the Lord's Supper were just signs. In one of his writings, he wrote a phrase that became the definition of sacrament for all time. An outward and visible sign of inward spiritual grace. These are something that point to something beyond them. They do not point to themselves. And we have spent volumes and books and all kinds of time trying to explain St. Augustine's phrase. I had four months in a uh, course on Augustine from someone who really knew an awful lot about him. And he said, sometimes we make more out of something than the writer intends. Augustine wasn't trying to start a great debate. He was just saying something simple. These are just signs. They are just signs that point to Christ's presence. They are signs on a highway. They inform us. They tell us how much further it is, but more importantly, they generally tell us we're on the right road. The problem with these signs that we live with every day is they generally point to a mystery that's beyond explaining and way past our understanding. In church, we talk about love a lot, it's a mystery that comes to us because humans are a mystery word. It's a big word that defies definitions in words. You have to experience love. You have to work at love. You have to learn the decision by meanings and actions, by mistakes, and yes, even the right things we do. And finally, we sort of figure it out as we go along. But we never completely know it or understand it. In church, we have the same thing. We talk about covenant. We talk about community. We talk about communion. Those are life together words. Promises and vows words. And what's interesting is they all point us to our true humanity in life together as the body of Christ. And that's the mystery. But the truth is, it's something so simple. We recognize it immediately. 
It's just bread. It's just a cup. And through centuries, we've poured over all kinds of words like they were water to drown them. We have watched baptisms. We have taken tastes of loaves and cups. And before we have ever understood them, they have told us who we are. I love the way that sacramental services reduce us to quiet. We realize that love and life are not things we can explain, but they are things we can see when we look at the human sign that God has sent us. Jesus and God are something we have to live with until we just sort of figure it out. I've been figuring it out for a long time and sometimes full time. But you know what? I've been living with life and loving and Jesus even longer. And I can tell you one thing. The more that I have followed the sign committed my life to live that model of love, the more I understand how my life is going in the right direction. I renew my commitment every time I see or lead a baptism. I realize how little we understand and how much we receive. Every time I take a taste of this loaf and cup, I still don't know what it means. But it connects me. It's a sign to the one I am trying to follow. I was at a Presbytery meeting. It was back in the days where Presbyterians had a uniform. At Presbytery, we all showed up in a blue blazer and khaki pants. <laughs> On Sundays, it switched to gray pants. And someone was talking about the sacrament and about the communion because the church had just decided in the Book of Order that children could take communion before they were confirmed. Did you remember when they couldn't? And one of the ministers in the table said, I just don't understand it. He said, it, it just opens up the t- table. It, it, uh, it said, they're only there for the bread and the juice. <laughs> and Fred Morgan said, well, I'm only there for the bread and the juice. <laughs> And I don't understand it either. (laughs) You know, I've realized the more I follow these signs, I start ignoring more of the signs that are on the road that lead me nowhere. And my better, my journey gets much better for the people who are around me. Because it doesn't matter as much to me at all. I have become much less interested in who I am because of this table. And because I know from that font and this table who I belong to. Amen.